In this tutorial, I will review some basics for drafting from a point cloud in AutoCAD Civil 3D, as well as a few tips and tricks. The first thing I will do is create the outline of the main building. To do this, I will isolate the building from the rest of the data to make it easier to visualize and draw on. Open the Point Cloud Manager under the Point Cloud toolbar. This manager allows you to view and manage Point Cloud regions. In here, you can control the visibility of Point Cloud regions, shift the perspective to the point of the scan, and search and rename regions of the scan. I will toggle the boxes beside each region to hide the visibility until only the building's regions is displayed. Next, select the Point Cloud and in the Crop In tab, select Polygon. I will crop down as close as possible to the building and select to keep the inside. To view all the data once more, simply select the Uncrop All command in the top ribbon. Another trick to bring more detail to this outline is the color map. Under the Point Cloud Visualization tab, you can toggle the visibility to elevation. Select the color map in and a new dialog will appear where the colors can be set based on the elevation of the point cloud. I will change the color scheme to spectrum to show a broader range of colors. Now only the color red is displayed. This spectrum has been applied to the entire point cloud. To change the colors of the building, we can change the range of the colorized points. Uncheck the apply to extents of the point cloud box and here the maximum and minimum elevation can be reset. As shown here, the building is between the elevation of 1620 and 1630, so I will reset the maximum and minimum elevation. This is a useful tool to see the different details in the building. From the top view, I can see that the building corners are marked by the blue outline of the building. To better define the building corners for line work creation, I will crop out the bottom half of the building. Firstly, toggle the view to a side view and select the point cloud. In the top point cloud ribbon, select the rectangular crop in tool. Highlight the bottom half of the building and keep the point cloud outside the selection. From the top view, a clear outline of the building is shown and I can create my line work. Once complete, select uncrop all in the point cloud ribbon to display all point cloud data. To better visualize the data, I will toggle the visibility to intensity mode. Select a point cloud region and in the top ribbon under visualization, select the drop down and intensity. I will change the transparency to 75 for easier viewing. From here, I can rotate the view and create line work and features for flow lines, road edges, vegetation and all other topographic features. In the next tutorial, I will explain surface and contour creation.